make a lot of different a lot of different colors. Mm -hmm. So for example, it's just real simple. If I bring a little bit of this over here to make some greens, this is my pad deep. So if I just put a little bit in, it's boom, it's there. I don't have to I don't have the reason I don't have to do much more to it is because if you think about it, ultramarine blue and cad yellow deep make green. The burnt sienna acts as a red in this case, which which is the complement, mm -hmm. which grays it down. That's it's, that's all it is. That's <coughs> the reason. So that gives me a green that's somewhat of a darker value, which I want. And these are kind of to start, and then as I look at my still life and I. Um, I start getting into the painting and really wanting the color to be this way or that way, I can tweak it. So now I've picked it up and I put some of the cad medium in it. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to this. Now this is the trick for not getting pasty colors. So the minute you add white to anything, it can get, and that's the biggest thing you see in more elementary or less experienced painters is anytime they paint green, they, they look very pasty. Um, <coughs> so all you have to do anytime a, a color goes pasty is to put a little bit of the original color. It, it, it wouldn't matter which one. If you want it to just be a little more yellow, use the yellow. If you want it to be a little more blue, use the blue. But just put a little tad bit of pure color back in it, and it will. It won't change the value. It really doesn't really change the technically the color. It just lifts it and brightens it up just a little bit. So then 